Hey guys, and uh, welcome to the series Hands On Data Learning with TensorFlow uh, with Ukoshini. This is a course for the beginners who want to implement things and they can use libraries for that. So, if you haven't done uh, any course with us before, uh, I'll give a brief introduction how this course will actually go on for. But uh, if you have uh, purchased this course with the entire application for placement preparation, then I would suggest that you go ahead and do the course intro to ML uh, from scratch. So the key difference between this and that course is that uh, that course is basically implementing some 10, 15 very important algorithms in Python without using any or minimal amount of library. So that will actually help you understand every basic bit of how a machine learning algorithms work. In this particular course, this is built uh, with the objective of you learning it using TensorFlow, which is a library by Google, to build projects, okay? Uh, or rather I say advanced projects, because for huge projects in which you have to work with a lot of video images, uh, high amount of data, and uh, implement much more complex neural networks, you will not be able to do it all without uh, using libraries. I mean, from scratch you can but it'll take a much longer period okay so the from scratch will definitely help you crack the interviews or to understand these things better or to customize these according to your needs but you need to use libraries to build projects okay so in this particular course uh, in the first few I think 10-15 uh, videos uh, we'll go ahead and introduce you to what is ML okay so if you haven't done any course in machine learning don't worry we'll introduce you to that and then what is a neural network and uh, then we will implement a neural network with tensorflow and once we have explained the basic idea what a neural network is how the machine learns and how do we implement these using tensorflow uh, we will go into the key areas where we haven't been in other courses that is uh, computer vision so computer vision will be uh, used here a lot so you will be working on projects which has video and images okay so most of the work that you will do here in these sequences will be around images and videos. Uh, natural language processing or the text-based machine learning data mining will be discussed in a different course. But in this particular course, our key focus will be on computer vision. Now, uh, before going into the course, I just want to give you a brief idea how each and every topic will go. First, we will discuss a case or a problem okay, that the particular pro uh, algorithm is going to solve. Then we will discuss the algorithm or the working of that particular algorithm. Okay. Uh, then we will implement the particular code. Okay. And implementation will be uh, shown to you using the codes. So you can uh, download the scripts directly or you can just follow along and try to practice it yourself as well. You don't have to remember any of the library codes. So don't worry about that. And at the end, we will have explanatory videos on each and every uh, part of the implementation. So let's say that you use uh, five or six different functions. We will explain each and every function in detail that what exactly is it doing and what are the different customization you can have so that you don't just copy the code from here, but if you need to modify your project or modify a particular uh, set of problems that you have been given in a company, you will be able to do it, okay? So this will be the approach to explain and answer everything. In the introduction part, you will be dealing with a very simple neural network to do some regression, and then you will use it for various uh, image uh, recognition, generation, and these sort of objectives, okay? So hope you all uh, choose this particular course rightly. After that, uh, if you have, again, uh, appeal is, if you have more than three, four months for whatever use you are using this course for, I would suggest you to go through the introduction from scratch, introduction to machine learning from scratch, because that will give you a basic understanding of machine learning and all its algorithm. But if you have basic understanding of machine learning, or even if you don't have it, but you want to implement these things in a project, this particular course will definitely help you. The only thing is that you will uh, do this with the help of TensorFlow. Uh, one more doubt uh, a lot of people have, what systems will be used? So we will use Google Colab. So for those who don't know, Colab is basically uh, a lab which is provided online. It's a collaborative library, Colab. Uh, according to Google, it's for multiple people working on a single project or you can just do it yourself as well. Since most of the TensorFlow or the high level machine learning uh, algorithms need GPU, graphical processing units to implement them in real time, uh, Google provide that GPU and CPU to each of us uh, through their collab. So you will be using Google's GPU on a public hosted uh, space. 
so you don't need to install anything okay uh, but if you want to it will be a bit difficult because not all the libraries work on all the systems but if you want to you can do it with jupyter notebook or uh, anaconda installation package but i would teach everything on colab so that you are easily able to understand everything and you can uh, get through all the codes because it will be available to you directly as well so you can edit our codes run them see what happens if you want to create it on your own the videos will help you do that as well okay so it's optional whether you install something on your system or you do this entire thing online okay so hope it helps uh, see you all in the next video thank you